Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, FBL Consult here and today we're going to take a look at my Game Week 4 transfer plans. Right, so this is a video that I'll release early into Game Week 4, right, just after a few games have been played so that at least I can give you guys an idea of what I'm thinking before actually releasing my actual moves in the team selection videos. Right, so if you do enjoy these kind of videos, please help me out and give this one a like and also subscribe if you are new around here. Alright, so on the screen I have this tool, right, and it's basically a, a way that I can kind of communicate to you guys what I'm thinking about my team, right, and the balance of my squad, right. So from the bottom, there are the bench players, right, Ward, Andreas, Reed, and Archer, they're pretty much going to be on my bench every week, right, and only if I want to, you know, upgrade maybe Andreas to a, a, a more premium midfielder, right, or maybe Archer to an Ivan Tony, for example, right, these are still just going to be my bench players, right, so as for the starting 11, right, I've kind of um, put, some, put them into some tiers, right? So I've put them into the foundation tier, mid-term mid holds tier, right, short-term holds, and also the pending transfer, right? So this is a good way to kind of let you guys know what I'm thinking with my moves. And maybe if it helps you guys as well, you can kind of use this tool for your own teams, right? So I have Raya, Salah, Trent, Cancelo, and James as my foundation. So basically, I'm going to hold them all the way till I walk out, right? There's pretty much no chance I'm going to transfer them out unless they get injured. Right, and then I have my midterm holds, and these are players that I'm still pretty confident of. Right, there is a chance I take them out, but there's probably you know more than three game weeks later on. Right, so Haaland, of course, because he is in good form, City creating a lot of chances, and I, I do want Haaland to you know be in my team to get those returns from him. And Jesus as well, right? Really one of the highest owned players at this point in time, more than 80%. Right, so naturally he's gonna be a hold. Right, up till maybe when the fixture swing comes for Arsenal. Right, so as for the short-term holds and pending transfers, I think this is where it starts to get a little more exciting, right? Because this is where my moves are probably going to come from. Right, so Pedro Neto, I think he is a short-term hold, right? Maybe one to three game weeks, but I think I may move him off soon. Right, and also Neko Williams, right? I am considering actually maybe upgrading him to a 4.5 as well. Right, I'll go into my actual transfer moves later on, right? But at least this is what I'm thinking about these um, assets as well. As for Saka and Robertson, they're in the red tier, right? And basically what that means is that they're pretty much on the chopping block, right? Either one of them is going to go, right? And they're going to make funds for me to kind of, um, you know, upgrade other areas of my team, right? I have two free transfers. So basically, this is what I'm thinking going into, you know, how my squad looks like in game week four. So without any changes made, this is how my team is looking like for game week 4. Right, I went into game week 3 with a 5-3-2 and this is exactly how my team would line up without any changes. And of course, I have two free transfers as can be seen on the left side of the screen, right, 0 0.5 mil in the bank as well. Right, so I'm now really thinking what I have to do with this team to kind of improve it. Right, so one look at this team, right, and actually the fixtures are pretty good, right, all around they're still good. Right, and the only problem I see is that Neko Williams plays Tottenham at home. Right, the next couple of games look pretty tough for him as well. Right, and I'm probably going to have to rotate either Neko Williams um, and Andreas. Right, so either one of them has to come into my team and I don't really like that. Right, I don't really like that either one of these cheap options would have to be in my starting 11. Right, so most likely I'm going to want to do something to Neko Williams. Right, but also at the same time, I don't really like having Pedro Neto as well, right? I do kind of want to move on from Pedro Neto because, you know, he hasn't been really performing that well um, in the first two game weeks, right? I am, of course, recording this before the Wolves game, right? But even so, right, he is looking like he's going to, you know, move on from my team, right? Unless he does something really, really awesome um, in the, uh, you know, game week three games, right? If not... Right, these two are on the chopping block and also Saka and Robertson, right, even though they have good fixtures. If I'm going to upgrade Naku Williams or if I'm going to upgrade Neto, right, whichever one I choose, I do need the funds to come from somewhere, right. Even though I have 0.5 in the bank, if I want to make a significant move or significant upgrade, right, the funds would have to come from either Saka or Robertson. Right, so on the screen is my team for game week 4 without any changes made. Right, I'm going to use this transfer planner to kind of explain to you guys and tinker a little bit about my moves moving forward. Right, if you guys want to use it, it's completely free. It's called fpl.team. Right, do check them out as well. Right, so basically, at this point in time, I'm considering 4 moves. Right, I'll explain it slowly, bit by bit. Right, but basically, the first move I'm intending to go for is to take out Neko Williams. 
and just simply upgrade him to maybe Saliba, right? If I can find out which Arsenal defender is nailed, right? Which 4.5 Arsenal defender is nailed, right? As of now, it says that I'm, I'm minus one in the bank, but actually um, this website just hasn't updated it to, to the latest yet, right? I've actually caught the price rise from Bailey down to Reed, and that is where that point one went, right? So as of now, I can afford Saliba, right? I have 0.5 in the bank, right? So one of the moves is Saliba, right? So if I reset the game week, right? Another move that I can consider is downgrading Robertson, right? To maybe Perisic, right? Depending on whether I get the, you know, feeling that he's going to start consistently, right? I can hop on early to Perisic and then upgrade Neko Williams to a Carl Walker, right? So very, very, um, you know, good upgrades here because immediately I'm jumping in early on Perisic and then I can get that Walker clean sheet from Man City as well. Right, so I like to look at this move. Right, another way that I can, you know, play around with my two free transfers and also that money in the bank as well is I can downgrade Saka. So let's say I downgrade Saka to Martinelli, right, which is something that I'm actually, you know, really, really fond of doing. Right, I can then upgrade either Neto or Neko Williams to, you know, Neko Williams, as I did just now, upgraded him to a Carl Walker or I can also do Neto thereafter to Gundogan, right, which is someone that I'm considering as well. Right, so... Possibilities are pretty much endless, but these are, are the uh, moves that I'm considering, right? And then the last move that I'm considering, if I reset the game week once again, is to take Saka out, right? And also replace Archer with Tony, right? So I'll do the, the Archer to Tony move first, right? So as you guys can see, if I've done Archer to Tony and I downgrade Saka, right, to a 5.8, I can go for Pascal Gross, right? So thereafter, this is how my team can actually look. Right, basically a 4-3-3, right? And honestly speaking, I'm I'm not opposed to this idea as well because that allows me to hop onto Ivan Tony and I get to keep my triple Liverpool as well, right? So there are you know really a good number of options that I can go with, right? All of them look pretty attractive to me as well, right? So at this point in time, um, I will kind of you know use a, use the rest of the game week to kind of think what I want to do, right? But for now, I am considering these four moves, right? Let me know what you guys would do with my team in the comments below. I, mean, I am interested to know, right? Because the possibilities are endless, and basically, I will have to narrow down um the the moves obviously come the the game week deadline right but for now this is what i'm thinking about right let me know what you guys are thinking about for your own teams as well right who you are intending to transfer in or out right but for now that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll catch you guys in the later videos for game week 4 as well right if you did enjoy it please subscribe please like as well and i'll see you guys real soon Bye bye